Hi everyone. So in this video, I want to be talking about your uh, preliminary poetry assignment. Um, and so again, you can find these on Blackboard, um, but I'm going to go through and just talk about exactly what I mean by this. So I say for this preliminary poetry assignment, you'll need to describe a place that is important to you. So I'm thinking about thinking about that description of place, right? Uh, and we can see how some of the poems that we looked at have uh, been dealing with describing a place. You should come up with some unique descriptions that help the reader see, hear, smell, or feel what the place is like, similar to the kinds of descriptions used in the poetry packet. And this assignment needs to be at least 150 words long. So in the video, I talked some about uh, some of the ways in which we are uh, those poets were describing those places in kind of a unique fashion. Um, I talked about the ways in which we can do things like on some level uh, see a feeling, right? The blue-black cold. Or hear that feeling. Hear the cold splintering and breaking. Um, and so uh, sometimes we can move across senses. That has a name, by the way. It's called synesthesia, which is when we move across senses. Um, but there are other kinds of ways as well that we can use to be able to make us feel like like we're in a particular place. Um, and again, it needs to be 150 words long. Uh, so for example, if I were completing this assignment, I might talk about the kitchen of the restaurant where I used to work, and my submission might look like this. So I have the, the kitchen of Leonardo's Pizza. Drop pans clanging to the floor like alarm bells. Cash registers beeping faster than I can cook. Speaker feeling the bass that sets the rhythm for, the, for work. So much steam that it's sometimes hard to see the tickets then hang in front of my face like clothes on a lime. The sharp smell of sauce that stings my nostrils and my eyes. The bright red sauce like blood stains on my apron. Clattering pots and pans underneath the orders being yelled out. The sizzle of my skin burning on the oven while the line just keeps getting longer and longer until it snakes out the door and along the side of the building until you can feel the tension uh, in all that steam and smoke that seems like it will never end. So um, uh, I'm describing what it's like. I used to work in a, a pizza kitchen. Um, and so, I'm, you know, uh, the pans sound like alarms, right? I'm making that comparison. That's called a simile. Uh, so I'm making that kind of uh, a comparison there. Um, the music buzzing through the old speakers, right? I mean, just the, that sense of we can hear it. It's coming through those old speakers. And so it's not going to uh, have the uh, uh, the kind of cl that clear sound. And so I've used that word there. Um, you know, so much tickets that hang in front of my face. And uh, it just recognize that that's putting us in this place. It's like, how much steam is there? If I just say there's a lot of steam, we're like, well, whatever. But if I say there's so much steam that I can't see these things right in front of my face, now I feel like, whoa, that's a lot of steam. Um, and so to be able to have something, uh, the sharp smell stinging my nostrils and my eyes. And notice that smell is not usually in your eyes, but that becomes part of the point. We can begin to understand this smell is so sharp that it even feels like I am, it's in here, but it's also feeling like it's in here as well. Um, again, those kinds of ways in which uh, we're describing that in, in, in kind of an unexpected fashion uh, that's going to help out. The sizzle of my skin burning on the oven, right? I have uh, burns on my arms uh, from sticking my hands uh, in my arms into the oven, and it would you would actually hear the skin sizzle on the oven. It was so so hot. It's like 550 degrees. Uh, it was so hot uh, that I would hear it before I would feel it sometimes. Um, and so uh, uh, those kinds of uh, uh, descriptions. This line that snakes out the door. I mean, one of the things that we want to try and use is strong verbs, right? Uh, so we can say uh, the line goes out the door, but that doesn't tell us anything. Snakes out the door. It's long and it's winding. Uh, you can see how it's going to move around the side of the building. And so the snake, that strong verb, gives us a sense uh, of something that we're we're going to see there. So all of those kinds of things, again, just back to that verb, the music buzzing, clanging, beeping, all of those strong verbs that give us a sense of the sounds there, um, and then making those comparisons, like I said, to things like alarm bells, uh, um, allowing us to see that steam uh, keeping us from seeing something like that. Um, and so all of those things that we can put in there that give us a sense of uh, actually being there. I say down here, don't worry about choosing the perfect images. I, I, you know, don't, uh, I don't want you to, you know, worry, oh my God, this isn't perfect. I'm not, not going to do the best job. Just get something down here and start thinking about this. And I say this assignment is designed just to get you thinking about the kinds of descriptions you might use in a poem. Uh, 
And so just kind of feel free with it because sometimes when we're free, we may not always be the best, but we'll come up with interesting things. I think sometimes if we're too worried about having the perfect image, uh, we don't let ourselves think freely, uh, we might cut off some really good things. Um, so just come up, see what you, you come up with. Uh, and I say here, you don't need to come to a big conclusion, although you can, if you can already get that, that's fine. We'll more, worry more about the larger ideas when we work on the final poetry assignment. Notice that there's no big idea here. Notice that if we think about something like lying in a hammock at William Duffy's farm in Pine Island, Minnesota, that's all descriptions until we get to the end about I've wasted my life. And we could ask questions about why does he feel as if he's wasted his life? Uh, and we can begin to uh, uh, dig into some of the emotions there. I don't have that kind of ending here. I just say this is just what it's like to work here. I don't get a sense of how you're supposed to think about this. I don't tie this into larger things. And that's okay for this assignment. I just want to have the images. And then for the next project, I want us to begin to think about how we can take all those images and have them mean something, right? How we can come up with some bigger ideas here. But again, if you come up with some ideas, that's fine. But don't worry if you don't. Uh, I'm just looking for those strong images. So that's the assignment that you have for your preliminary poetry project. You can go ahead and get to work on that. Again, as always, if you have any questions about anything, let me know.